What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Gaming with the Bros Cast. Take number two. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> today, is, today is March 28th, and yeah, I just, I just had a, a slight Wi-Fi crash and, and dropped out of the call. So we're, we're back now, you know, I, yeah, we're, we're back and back and rolling. I'm Nick, joined with my brother Harrison, as always. Yep. I'm, I'm taking the, taking the reins <laughs> on this one. <laughs> Episode 68, welcome, guys. So, um... Before we kind of jump into some some games we've been playing, because Nick, you're you're playing the the biggest one this week um, with uh, Monster Hunter. But how was uh how was your week? Week's been pretty good. Yeah, you know it's been been pretty fun. It's hard to remember what I've done this week, but went out on on Friday and Saturday, and you know went out some some restaurants, sat outdoors, felt wonderful. Nice. It it feels good that we're coming to the end of the pandemic. Yeah, you know everyone's everyone's getting vaccinated. I think I'm in I'm in late phase four since I'm in financial services. Yeah, so I can get it like uh, March thirty first. I think I can sign up and or like go get it. Okay, so it's pretty soon. It's yeah, like a couple days. I might I might just like try to get a day one if possible. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but it's been For a good sure. week. Some good weather, you know. Got to got to get outside a little bit and enjoy that. And, oh yeah. And then I spent twelve hours this weekend playing Monster Hunter. So it's a <laughs> oh great gosh. weekend. <laughs> cool. Your week. It was good. I um I got all of my parts for my uh for the PC that I am currently building. Uh, I've got everything but the graphics card. It's still in China. Um, it it took them forever to update like the the, um like the FedEx website and stuff so did it get stuck uh, on that that shipping container maybe I I was thinking <laughs> about that but I don't know M- maybe not it might have I, caused some problems with with shipping though it, that is possible yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't think about that earlier when uh, I was like man it's still in China but it's all good I uh, I got everything completed I definitely went into building it with I guess not maybe uh, what's the word I'm looking for I felt confident about going into it. You felt and, confident. Uh, okay. I felt pretty confident. Like I, I watched a, you know, a bunch of YouTube videos and stuff. Mm-hmm. And uh, w- once I started building it, though, that's when I was like, okay, maybe not quite in over my head, but definitely a lot harder than I thought. And I think I think mainly because I mean, I've never really worked with like a motherboard before, mm-hmm. and uh, the the power supply that I have, there's like. I think there's like 10 cables that come out of it and they're all for different things. Once, once they're powering um, like the, the motherboard and once for powering like the CPU. Yeah. Uh, and then you have your other cables that, you know, can go to your, your like hard drive that you have stuff like that. Uh, so there, there was about four or five cables that I had no idea what they did. And I was just getting like kind of uh, a little frustrated. And then I, I ended up YouTubing it and, uh, they're some are used for the graphics card so i was just like well that makes that makes a lot of sense right so i was just getting frustrated kind of for no reason just because uh yeah i just didn't know what a lot of the cables went so um and i didn't i didn't have all of my i was like well you know i don't have the graphics card so there's probably some cables that go into that and sure enough there is so getting that um i did i, I had the I had the the um I was able to get it like uh, booted up um, and uh, powered on, so that's cool. And I was messing around with the the two fans that are built into my uh, to my case, mm-hmm. and I don't know. I'm hoping I didn't damage the motherboard itself, because everything else still works. But um, the, yeah, the the two fans no longer work, so I uh, I'm gonna get new ones and uh, you know have the nice RGB lights going on. So mm-hmm. I am definitely looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, just just ready for this graphics card to get in here, so I can get it plugged into the computer and start, you know, messing around with different settings and stuff like that. So definitely excited to get that in. Um, I, I just yeah. wanna, you know, I'm excited to stream a little bit more often once I get everything um, uh, booted up, and I'll, I'll probably end up getting a new keyboard and mouse at some point. Mm-hmm. Um, but but yeah, I, I'm definitely excited. Definitely looking forward to uh getting to the world of PC gaming. Maybe I'll check out uh, Valheim, Valheim if I can. What, what uh, kind of graphics 
card did you get? You know I can't you remember. Think? Honestly, it's it's kind of like I would say mid tier because I really don't plan on playing like a crazy amount of stuff on on the on the PC. But I, I definitely do want to check out Valheim because I've heard lots of good stuff about that. But yeah, I don't think that thing <clears throat> requires like too much to be able to run. But yeah, looking forward to that. Um, this weekend we it, it was really nice. I mean, it did thunderstorm on Saturday, um, but it, it kind of cleared up. Um, mm-hmm. But I, I went into a uh, our local um, uh, kind of grocery store and got uh, some stuff for a seafood boil. Or is it royal? Shrimp, royal? shrimp royal? Yeah, I did like, you know, you know like shrimp, sausages, uh, potatoes, corn. corn? Oh. Yep. Yep. Got to. It's good. Uh, man. Put, a, put a crap ton of uh, Old Bay in there and oh, some other course. like other seafood um, seasonings, a little, little spicy seafood seasoning in there. Mm-hmm. And also got some crab legs too. Um, and, a little, and some little bit of oysters. And we had a couple people over. Uh, Diego came over. Um, one oh, of our, nice. Yeah, one of our. Uh, our buddy's growing up. He came over, so I hadn't seen him in a while. Um, our buddy Daniel Nance, I don't know if you remember him. He oh, came of over. course, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, he came over, and uh, we did the boil and stuff. And, uh, yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. Nice. It's a good time. Yeah, that sounds fun. Yeah. All right, so let's, uh, let, let's, let's dive into uh, to what we've been playing, because I'm excited to hear your thoughts on Monster Hunter. I'll, I'll go first, because I've, I've really only been a playing Avengers. Mm-hmm. Um. I did end up beating the the main campaign, and I finished the first part of uh, Kate Bishop's kind of storyline. And now, like DLC, I'm, yeah. And now I'm on to yeah. uh, it's called Future Imperfect, and it it actually just came out, but it's it's the one where you play as Hawkeye, okay, and like like old man Hawkeye or whatever. Um, yeah, I really really enjoyed that game. I think. As far as like the main the main story goes, the campaign, um, I, th- I think all that stuff is really fun. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it definitely gives you a lot of variety as, as you switch through the kind of the characters um, throughout the game. I think um, uh, Kamala Khan is a is a really good uh, character to play as. I you know I enjoyed her performance um, and kind of her her story and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So I think. I guess it's it's hard to judge because I didn't play this game when it first came out, so there wasn't this extra story, um, you know, storyline that I could play through now. Right. Um, so it's kind of hard to judge, but I th- I feel like the game does get, I don't know, not necessarily unnecessary criticism, but I don't think it's as bad as people seem to think. There's definitely like some yeah. a lot of uh, a lot of game to it, and it, it's free you know, with these two, at least these first two. Um, DLCs. Um, I mean, the multiplayer stuff is kind of weird. That's where, like, they're doing like the strike missions, and Mm -hmm. a lot of that stuff is pretty samey that I've seen. You 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 fight the same kind of like robot enemies, and you kind of fight the same enemies throughout the whole campaign as well. It's just a bunch of robots, um, you know, with with different abilities and stuff like that. Right. So I could I could understand that. There's not a ton of um any varieties but when there are boss fights it, it is pretty it is pretty fun but um yeah i don't think it's like a, the greatest game ever i don't think it's super great but it's it's definitely good i think i think it's definitely good and uh, i'll definitely keep checking it out when they when they start adding more and more kind yeah. of characters to the game i need to jump back into it i kind of got sidetracked with with yeah. other games that, that were coming out but i i liked what i played with it i think that i, I mean Obviously, like the main criticism with the game was was around the the end game. Yeah, and, like Square was kind of or Square and, and Crystal Dynam- Crystal Dynamics were kind of touting that it was like, you know, this live service game that people were going to play for for months and you know maybe a year or two, but yeah. it just didn't have the content to to back that up, or at least like the progression system and everything just yeah. didn't kind of back up that claim. So I think that's why I got a lot of flack. I mean. It sounded like people liked the story itself, right? Yeah. Like the, the campaign, but just that kind of yeah, like you said, that multiplayer just doesn't really hit like it like it should, and it, it kind of shows that not every game needs to be like a live service game. And I think I think companies are trying to walk the line and and find a middle ground between both, and that's kind of what yeah. this game is because it has that story, but it has you know this kind of live service element. 
That's yeah, tough. that yeah, it's it is tough because I mean you're you're charging sixty bucks for a game and there's and I mean the campaign was like six or seven hours. It wasn't like super long mm-hmm. or anything. Um, and it was you know it's kind of like that perfect length. It didn't over, it didn't overstay its welcome or anything like that. Gotcha. But yeah, yeah. The problem with this live service games, um, is, you know, especially I mean we'll talk about Destiny, but um, you know you you pay sixty bucks for it and you there's just not a lot of game there. So yeah. at least that's first, yeah. And, and and I guess I feel like at this point gamers should understand that that it's going to take time for it to kind of flourish and and get all the content. Mm-hmm. And and maybe if you're not okay with waiting, then then wait to buy the game. But yeah, I feel like people get really upset about that stuff. But they but they know how these live service games work. So it, yeah. yeah, it's hard to. I mean. Yeah, I mean it's it's people's money and people's wallets, and they you know they want the most content for you know the most bang for their buck, but also it's a live service game. You have to you have to wait for that kind of stuff. But that's the other problem too. Is like if if I paid for a game and I paid sixty bucks for a game and I played through it, and maybe this is just me, but like I'm not gonna wait around for you know, whatever content they're promising later on. Like I, yeah. I don't love like a roadmap because I'm normally not going to hang around that long. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm betting and like, that's what happened with the uh, Avengers, but the player base just dwindled so much after it launched and they didn't really expect that to happen. So they're kind of supporting not a dead game because, you know, it's getting a resurgence with the, the next gen upgrades, but you know, just the player base just isn't as high as it could be if they had released with, you know, some more content out the gate. Yeah, or at least some more different type of stuff. Because like I like mm-hmm. I said earlier, uh, it's a lot of the missions, a lot of the strike missions are very, very, very same. samey. You 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 know you go into a a, a level uh, that's kind of you know not quite open world but pretty big that you can do stuff in. You can find like chests and mm-hmm. you know other stuff, and then you either have to control a control you have to hold a control point or you have to shoot these i don't know i'll call them buttons but you have to shoot them it's usually four or five of them and you have to shoot them in like a certain amount of time to like unlock the door and then you end up going down into a base and then fighting more enemies Mm -hmm. so it's it's very it does get very samey so yeah i could i could see if when the game first launched and that's all that players could do and like the kate bishop stuff and the hawkeye stuff wasn't there then yeah i can definitely understand why yeah. people fell off and it is kind of a bummer that although like kate bishop is very fun to play as because she's a she's like a, a bow and arrow user to go from her over to hawkeye which is also a bow it's and arrow user, thing, right? <laughs> yeah i mean they're a little bit different because kate she has like kind of like warping abilities but hawkeye mm-hmm. doesn't i mean he's just you know he's the non superpowered avenger or whatever um, I mean, it's still fun uh, from from what I've played so far in, in that campaign. Um, but yeah, it's kind of weird that you go from one bow, bow and arrow user to another. So yeah, kind of weird that they they planned it out like that. Like yeah, they, sh- they should have done like I don't know Black Panther between them. Yeah, I mean, no, it, it makes like sense with the story, like with the way because okay. like the way the campaign ends. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but. It, it definitely leaves it open. Like the main the main campaign is done, but mm-hmm. there's a certain person that gets away. Um, so they, they leave it open to to add on to, and then that's that's where um Kate Bishop's storyline and Hawkeye's stuff comes to play. So it makes sense. It's not like you know, as a story perspective, it, it makes total sense. It's just it's still a bummer that you're playing as a uh, as two bowing areas. But the good thing is yeah. is you can always switch to another character if you want to. So you don't have to necessarily play as Hawkeye in in his story stuff. Yeah, and his like main like in the main mission stuff. You can oh, you can swap to a, okay. another um adventure. And it's all like I, I mentioned this before, but it's it's so weird the way they do the strike missions because even if you haven't unlocked the um Avenger in the story, they oh, they'll show up in the thing like like in the story, like the beginning of the game, like Cap is is dead or whatever um but he showed up in the one of the strike missions and then oh i guess he's more sh- showed up at one point i was like oh, this okay i mean it's fine 
it's just weird but yeah like they didn't plan that part out or something yeah yeah it was mm-hmm. weird but yeah good game I, I think if you could i think if you can find it on sale like like you and i did i think it's definitely worth that 30 bucks yeah um, i don't i don't know if it's still on sale now i know square enix has had a sale going on but definitely i definitely think it's worth the 30 bucks uh and then you get like the two additional content um updates and stuff with uh with hawkeye and and kate bishop mm-hmm. and then um i don't know i think uh black panther is the next one but i don't know when i think it's coming in the summer yeah so we'll we'll see when, when that when that actually drops so mm-hmm. so yeah avengers is, is avengers is pretty good how do you like it yeah. yeah all right let's 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 talk about this uh this this monster hunter yeah so monster hunter rise um came out came out friday and just a just a caveat. I've I've played Monster Hunter Try on the Wii, but I, I I didn't play that much of it. And I played three G three G on the three DS slash Wii U, and then four G on the three DS. That one was the one I played the most of. And then played like a few hours of Worlds on PS4 and yeah. kind of fell off. But this one I am completely completely drawn in. Like it has improved on so many things since 4g and and even since world from what i know yeah but so for those who are unfamiliar with with what monster hunter is essentially i mean it's kind of how the it's kind of just the title of the game you're you're going into these missions and you're and you're hunting these monsters and you're on like a 50 minute timer and you can either kill the monster or you can capture it and what you'll do is you'll you'll attack it and you'll you'll fight it in certain areas of the map and then it'll get injured or run away to other areas and you'll follow it. Yeah. And then, you know, fight it in another area and then you kill it, you get its materials, and then you use those materials to build or, or forge weapons, forge armor, upgrade your armor, upgrade your your palamutes armor which is the dog that's the new, yeah. one of the new additions in this game you can you can ride a, a kind of like a fighting dog that'll that'll fight alongside you that's and cool. then you can upgrade your palicos equipment as well with with that with that kind of stuff and it's like the cat that fights along you alongside you um the the palamute is a fantastic addition to the game because it makes getting from the start of the map to the monster like completely seamless like you okay. can just kind of call the palamute at any time you can ride yeah. it around and you can even and, and this is one of the gripes i had with with uh 4g is like when you when you use a whetstone to sharpen your your weapon because your weapon becomes duller and duller the more you use it and then you have to sharpen it and then it'll do you know max damage again but you can while riding the palamute use the whetstone to sharpen your sharpen That's weapon cool. instead of just like sitting there and and hoping that the monster you're attacking doesn't attack you, and you can do the same thing for like taking help, taking uh, potions or antidotes or anything like that. So the Palmute's really awesome. And then the the second huge addition to this game is called the Wire Bug, mm-hmm. and these are bugs that you can use to traverse around the map. So you literally, it, it's it's literally like your Spider Man fleeing around the map. Yeah, and this is like such a big change from from World and 4G because those those while they were like they had some verticality to them like sometimes you would climb walls and you know scale areas but with this you can completely scale across a map in like 30 seconds and it's just so cool and then you can use it in combat like each of the 14 weapon types has like a has two specials with the wire bugs that you can use and Another big gripe I have, and, and you might have experienced this as well when, when you played the demo, but when you get knocked down from a monster, mm. there's probably like a three to five second animation of you like getting back up. Yeah. And it's kind of annoying because like you can also get hit like while you're on the ground. But with a wire bug, you can do this thing called wire fall, where when you're getting hit, you t- hold like LR and press B and you'll swing and you'll okay. immediately get back into That's the action cool. or get away. So like, okay. it's just so much, so much faster, and it just feels like a lot less clunky compared to 4G, and even even World. Like it's just kind of like night and day. Wow, 
How is um how's the camera? Because I, I did have a little bit of problem with the camera in the demo. I haven't had any trouble with it. I mean, it's just like a, it's it reminds me of like a Dark Souls. Yeah. In terms of the camera, because like you can't. Can you lock on to a boss in Dark Souls? You can, right? Yeah. Okay. I think you can lock on to a to a monster in Monster Hunter Rise. I, okay. I really don't, and I don't have much of a problem with the camera. But I think it's just like getting used to it. I okay. guess. Yeah. Yeah, cool. I haven't had much problems with that. But are you are you playing it mainly handheld or on the TV or docked? I've probably done 50-50. Okay, and it run, it runs pretty well on both both yeah, sides. Yeah, it, it's pretty much a lock thirty on both sides. I I really haven't had any trouble with frame rate at all. That's good. And I've been playing for twelve ish twelve ish hours, and I think I'm like pretty deep in the story. Like I've. I think you can get up to like six star, like six star quests. Yeah. That's like that. <clears throat> One of the highest difficulties. And I'm at four stars right now. And I just hunted uh, Rathalos, which is one of like the most famous right. monsters from, from Monster Hunter. It was in, it's in Smash, I think, as a as like an assist trophy. But I just hunted that. And like each monster you fight, man, it's just so so unique, and you feel so like badass when you when you nail these like insane yeah. like combos or something. I, I started off with the dual blades and the sword and shield. I would switch off between those two because those were really fast, mm-hmm. and those are kind of like uh, those kind of remind me of like Dark Souls of using okay. using like a, a a light weapon in Dark Souls. So it's pretty fast and pretty easy to to get out of the way and dodge around and stuff. But I took a chance with the great sword, which is one of the one of the slower weapons in the game, and but it does a lot of damage when you connect. Yeah. And there's there's just one move where you use the wire bug and you kind of like you hit him with the sword, but you flip way up in the air, and then you can hold the sword down and like fall on top of them, kind of like like Link does. Okay. Zelda, where you can hold yeah him, hold down the sword. <clears throat> and that that's just such like it's such a cool feeling move when you actually get it down so it, that's pretty cool yeah it, it's it's just it's very confusing like at first like if you've never played a monster hunter before because there's a lot to learn and like i haven't even scratched the surface from from all the stuff but it's really easy to just like to just do the things that you want to do mm-hmm. and you don't have to like learn all these like extra extra mechanics of the game if you don't want to Okay, well, that's yeah, cool. So you kind of just play your own pace and, you know, take things. How's um like how's the story? Because I that, that that I think that last trailer really got me a little bit more excited for the game just just because it was like it seemed like it was more story focused. But how's like the story in the game? It's it's like a pretty standard story. Like there's there's a calamity coming, and it hasn't happened in fifty years. I Man, calamity is like the new thing. It is. Like every game has a calamity now, but there's there's a calamity coming, and it's you know, the first one in 50 years, and you know you're trying to prevent all these casualties, and that's kind of where the flagship monster Magnamalo comes into place or comes into play because that's like okay. kind of the calamity monster, and there there's not re- really too much of a story. Sorry, <coughs> oh, I'm losing lose voice talking about this monster. Hunter. I know. There's not too much of a story, but but one of the new additions called Rampage mode. Okay. It's one of the kind of new new modes in the game. That's kind of where the story comes in, and it's kind of like a um. Oh, what are those games called? Tower. It's like, it's like a tower defense almost. Okay. Where you'll set up these turrets. Some of them are auto. Some of them you can control, and then you'll set up like bombs and stuff, and you know, monsters will come in in waves, and you have to you have to fight them off. Okay, and that's kind of like that's kind of what the story is: is you're protecting your village from the calamity that's coming and from all these rampages. Yeah, and then in between that, you're doing like hunts. You're hunting, you know, all these kind of unique monsters, and then you're doing like other quests where you're like collecting stuff, you know, collecting coal or getting ore, or you know kind of doing whatever collecting herbs and stuff 
Cool. I mean, that's, yeah, that's that's kind of it. And then, yeah, that, I mean, maybe I'm not maybe I'm not selling it really well, but it's it's extremely fun, and the kind of the kind of grind of it is really rewarding. Yeah. And, but it but it's not like too much of a grind. Like if you fight a if you hunt a monster once, you'll at least be able to make something out of it, whether that's an armor piece or making like a weapon or upgrading a weapon. Like you don't need to sit there and grind grind a monster five times to Yeah. Well that's cool. You can to get, get some at armor. least let you create something out of what you get from them. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a cool part of it. Like you can you can kind of create something out of a lot of the things that you can get in that world. Not necessarily the monsters, but if you're mining and getting stuff, you can forge weapons out of that. And yeah, there's a whole lot. I haven't so, I haven't done any multiplayer yet, but that's like a whole other kind of quest line as well. Okay. Yeah. So you, easily set. the uh, easily the best monster hunter you've ever played. Yeah, I think so. Like it, it's it, it feels the best. That's for sure. Like okay. Just getting around like that. Oh, the wire bug is like the best new mechanic in a monster hunter ever. <laughs> like it's <laughs> so fun to get around and oh oh and you can you can ride monsters too. Yeah. The yeah. one of like one of the uh, one one of the common things in Monster Hunter is you'll be fighting one monster and then another one will come into play. And sometimes yeah. like they'll battle each other and you're like, oh shit, like what do I do? Like mm -hmm. do I keep attacking them? Do I run away? But in this game, when that happens, when there's another monster in, in play, um, it, it makes it really easy for you to like to like knock down the monster and then you can ride it and use that monster to attack another monster. That's pretty awesome. And when you do that, it's a lot easier to get their materials. Like you'll 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 knock off like a bunch of their materials with another monster that you can pick up. Okay. So it's it's pretty cool. Like there's some some cool Man, news you can I might, do. I might I might pick it up. I don't know. Well, we can play it. I I heard the multiplayer is really fun. Yeah. Well, so. we'll see. I, I, well, I just um, well, I picked up It Takes Two mm -hmm. on uh, on Friday, but haven't haven't touched it yet. Uh, I might I might see if Brittany wants to play tonight for a little bit. Um, but that and then I know Outriders is coming out on April first yeah. on on Friday. Is it Friday when that comes out? I think it's Thursday. Thursday is April first. I think. No, Wednesday. I think. Is it Wednesday? Pretty sure. Either either way, that that comes out this week, um, which I know I'm, I'm probably going to put a lot of time into. Mm -hmm. uh, April first. April first on Thursday. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna put a lot of time into that. So we'll we'll see. I, I don't know. <sighs> it's so good, man. I like, know. Oh, it sounds it's... it sounds great. Like. I keep saying I want to go back and play World and, and kind of get back into that, but don't, I just remember it. I remember it being too, not too hard, but like, it just took forever to kill a monster. Is, is that is it a little bit quicker process in this game, or is it about the same from what you remember? At this point, I can I can completely hunt a monster in like ten minutes. Okay. Okay, that's yes. cool. That's cool. In the demo, it took me forty minutes to kill one. So, so the demo is definitely harder than the actual game. If that, okay, if that makes you feel any better, like it, it really doesn't take that long. Like, okay, yeah, All right, yeah, we'll see. I might, I might, I might pick it up. Oh, uh, but you, but you played a little bit of It Takes Two, right? Yeah, I played a little bit earlier tonight. Yeah, this game, this game has been reviewing super well. Hmm. So I am definitely excited to, uh, to play it. Um, so how, I mean, how is it? How is this so far? It's really fun. It's, it's, it's just kind of fantastic, cooperative fun, similar to a way out. I'd say it's, yeah. it's, it's better than a way out so far, but it's, it's a completely different story. Right. Yeah, right. Kind of, yeah. Other than being cooperative games, like those, those games are, are super different, but this one's, this one's really, really fun. The, the story is about two parents that are getting divorced and they have a, a daughter and she made these like clay clay and wooden figurines of her parents mm -hmm. and she would kind of play with those and kind of pretend that they were they were doing fine and then they tell her that they're gonna get divorced and then she um i don't want to spoil the beginning but yeah eventually they get turned into these something happens and they get turned into <clears throat> yeah. yeah into these, into cool. these um uh, characters and 
<laughs> it's it's kind of similar to to a way out in that it's like isometric um cooperative gameplay where one person does one thing while the other one does another thing yeah but you have to work together to to accomplish it so it's like split screen like it kind of like the split screen yeah. kind of moves out like split a way screen. out okay mm-hmm. yeah split screen i really like that like a, like a way out we said, we, yeah, so, you, you said it last week yeah but we, we need to finish a way out yeah i don't think we're far from the end i don't think we are either we got pretty we got pretty far into it yeah yeah we need to finish that i want to see how that uh see how that plays out yeah but only played like an hour of of it takes two so far but i've really enjoyed it platforming is great you know the, there's a good level of challenge there yeah like even even at the beginning maybe, maybe maybe not for like you and i but at least for um at least for alicia there was there was some challenge yeah <laughs> How, how, does nice she, that, how does she like it? She likes it. She okay. she really enjoyed it, and and it's nice because you don't have lives or anything. So if you if you fall to your death or you die, you will instantly yes. respawn. And okay, that's cool. That that's one of the that's one of the things that she gets stressed out about is she's worried that she's like ruining my experience by by depleting all of our lives. <laughs> like no, that's that, it's I promise that's not the case. Yeah. But, yeah, it's yeah, it's pretty fun. Cool. It's cool. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to uh to uh to play in that yeah um anything else that you have been um playing this week uh i restarted prey and i was doing i did the new game plus on prey, okay and i was going the route of of doing all of the the typhon kind of abilities okay just go around and i was gonna like kill all the humans that i come across to see that ending okay but, but haven't gone haven't gotten super far in it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Praise good. Pray is good. Praise good. Um. So let's go ahead and jump into uh to some news. Not a ton of stuff happened this week news wise. Um. Mm-hmm. Xbox Live kind of I guess quietly they changed the name. Um. R I P to good old Xbox Live. It's now considered the Xbox Network. Um. Mm-hmm. So I guess. I, don't really know the purpose of this other than just i guess to rebrand and kind of get everything under one um one umbrella kind of, i guess yeah one umbrella so so yeah uh, that's cool. was, was xbox live did that did that come with the first xbox or was that the 360 yeah yeah it was, it was the first xbox xbox live wow it's been around for a long time yeah so Man, yeah r.i.p that, that, that's R-I-P. a great name yeah xbox live that's like a household name at this point yeah well i guess it makes sense i mean they've got they've got like their cloud stuff so i think that i think they just mm-hmm. kind of wanted to, to bundle everything together and just like you said like just an, an overall uh like umbrella so r.i.p to xbox live it is now yeah, the xbox R-I-P. network um you want to read the next one yeah we got a second resident evil showcase coming in april this yeah. is this is on the on the heels of the first one that that aired in what Feb- end of January? Yeah, maybe end of January. Yeah, because they what did they show off there? They showed off some more Resident Evil Eight. They showed off the multiplayer. Yeah, the reverse the stuff. Reverse. I don't know that if they showed anything else. Yeah. So yeah, maybe they'll um because it's it's 25th anniversary of Resident Evil this year, right? So yeah, I'm sure they'll probably show off some more Resident Evil 8, which I'm super mm-hmm. excited for. Um, pr- they'll probably, if it, I mean, I'm assuming that this will come probably before the demo, and they'll release the the demo that day, mm-hmm. or sometime in the in the near future for that. Because I mean, the game comes out what May 7th, so yeah, um, we'll probably get a, a more look into that reverse. Um, they did they did men- mention that a beta is coming uh, mm-hmm. between April 7th through the 11th on all platforms um so we'll have that so i'm, I'm thinking maybe that the showcase will be kind of around then yeah around that time frame so yeah that would be that would be cool a good way to start april that's would be next week so that that's cool um and i i mean maybe i don't know maybe maybe some other resident evil news maybe resident evil 4 uh you know the remaster for that one the remake whatever you want to call it maybe that'll get announced show for, I don't know. Maybe maybe they would wait to announce it after eight comes out, just to not to take any hype away from eight. But I mean, I don't yeah. I don't think that's kind of possible. That I think that game's like super hyped right now. But 
aren't there rumors that Resident Evil 4 not restarted development, but it was having like trouble? You're right. Yeah, direction? I think it. Yeah, I think I think, I think that is right internally. Well, maybe maybe they'll announce. I think there's like a rumored um, Resident Evil. Uh, oh, what is it called? Um, Revelations Three. Um, that, that's, oh, that's coming that's, to the Switch, right? Exclusive. Yeah, coming to the Switch exclusively. Mm -hmm. um, so that could be that could be really cool. That I, I really like yeah. the first two uh, Revelations games. Yeah, um, those were good. Those were those were good fun. Yeah. So yeah, hopefully we get some some more Resident Evil goodness. That would be really cool. Man, I, I'm Capcom like kind of they're kind of my one of my top developers now yeah they've been Between killing it the last Runner couple of years and resident evil what else do they have they have street fighter uh, meh. <laughs> street meh. Fighter. <laughs> yeah I, I think that game turned around um but uh yeah hopefully we get some cool announcements with um uh, with that showcase we'll see um hey, yeah, i thought the resident you... evil i thought the other i thought the other showcase was pretty good um yeah it was, it was short and sweet yeah short and sweet we got we got a lot of good stuff. A lot of good uh, details on on Resident Evil Eight. Yeah, yeah, which like was first and just some gameplay. Yeah, yeah, I mean that's yeah, what, that's what we're here for. Up. Yeah. Uh, and then the last one, um, Xbox had its uh, indie showcase, the the ID at Xbox program that they've they've mm -hmm. had for a long time now. Um, they they had a ton of trailers. I mean, it was it was super long. Um, I actually didn't watch every little bit of it just because it was so long but a lot of a lot of great stuff a great looking stuff that i saw that i'm definitely interested in um so that that was pretty cool uh yeah. we were talking about the at the beginning of the show or before we started um, recording but sometimes the bantering can get like a little annoying between like the two main hosts uh i don't know it, it, yeah it's just it's, too, it's like just... I, I, I don't understand why they do it to, to be honest just like, to fill I, the space yeah time. yeah but they they would also take breaks too like throughout the showcase as well they'd mm -hmm. take like two or three minute breaks so the whole like oh what what was your favorite game you saw like it was just, i don't know a little cringy and I don't, I don't understand why these showcases keep doing it but also i guess like when they when they would do it for like at e3 some of that stuff especially ubisoft ubisoft was kind of the worst as far as like just really cringy moments um yeah. But other than that, I mean, I, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, they did announce that 22 of those games shown are coming to uh, to Game Pass day one. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll, I'll go ahead and wow. go through uh, um, them real quickly here. Uh, Arts of the Rally, um, Astria Ascending, Backbone, Boyfriend Dungeon, Craftopia, uh, Dead Static Drive, Edge of Eternity, Hello Neighbor 2, um nice. let's see library of uh ruina um little witch in the woods moon glow bay which was kind of like the big the big one i came out of that that game just looks so so much fun um mm -hmm. and, and just like very very relaxing kind of game um naruto boy uh which i think it was already announced um I, i've seen that on game pass for for a while now gotcha. um uh Nobody, I actually think I think it came out Friday, maybe I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, nobody saves the world. Uh, Omno, recompile, Sable, she dreams Sable. elsewhere, Stalker Two. Oh, nice! That's coming to Game Pass. Yep. Um, the Ascent, Un Dungeon, Way to the Woods, and The Wild at Heart. So wow. Uh, some of these I definitely saw, but some I didn't. So I can't really mm. speak on what. Um what those look like but uh yeah a lot. i was a lot yeah, it was a lot, yeah a lot of stuff uh, a lot of indie a lot of great looking indie games coming to game pass anything um i know you you kind of didn't watch it all as well anything that really caught your eye that you saw there was one um oh, i can't remember the name of it death store from death devolver store. digital okay it's like a top-down action adventure. Kind of looks like Zelda a little bit. Okay. I don't think it's a roguelike. I thought it was at first, but... but you play as a bird. If that okay. jogs your memory at all. I don't know if I saw that one. Okay. But it looks pretty cool. 
Yeah. Oh, Devolver, Devolver puts out a lot of good stuff too. Yeah, Devolver, man, they they kind of pump out hits. They they put out yeah. Carry On, right? Are they at least uh, published yeah. it? Yeah, they they published Carry On. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Devolver. Yeah, my my name is. Oh wait, my my friend Pedro. That was yeah. the one that, yep. that's going. So I'm watching this trailer for for Moonglow Bay now. Yeah, it looks it, looks, it cool. looks yeah, it looks very very cool. Looks very. So it's just a sim, like a fishing sim. Kind of. I mean, there's like a there's like a story behind it too. Like the the story is, as I think your partner passes away, mm-hmm. um, and you have to take over like fishing and stuff. Um, yeah, it looks it looks very very nice to play. Fish slice of life fishing RPG. Yeah, that's what it's called. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, I mean. I, Coming to Game Pass, so yeah. Free. Like I didn't, I didn't see like a bunch of games that were announced, but yeah. I mean, it's great that there's so many coming to Game Pass, and like these games probably wouldn't, wouldn't not that they wouldn't see the light of day, but like they wouldn't get the boost that they would normally. Yeah. Without Game Pass, so it's nice. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's nice to see like all these indies kind of getting a getting a spotlight. For sure. Yeah. So yeah, I thought I thought that was a, a pretty good pretty good showcase. We got a ton of a ton of stuff. Um, so what's, and, you what's know, next? What, what do you mean? Like as far as like showcases and stuff? <laughs> yeah. What's the next one? Uh, I mean, Xbox. They haven't had their proper one for you know for their for their you know what? their their proper games, yeah. whatever that's going to be. Um, so who knows? I mean, who knows when we get that? Um, I mean, do they wait know. till like E three time frame at this point? Yeah, I'd, I'd probably, I'd probably be safe to call that. I mean, we'll we'll get something in maybe May or June. Yeah. Uh, so, because they don't have anything coming before then, like maybe Not, Flight yeah. Sim will. I mean, that's coming what this summer. Yeah, I think for, so. Uh, Series X. So. So that's, uh, that's yeah. Yeah, not not much coming out right now for for Xbox, um, but uh, yeah, we'll probably see something in in June. Maybe get mm-hmm. some. Uh, maybe Starfield will get announced for this year. Coming out, you really yep. think Starfield's coming this year? Maybe I think so. That I mean, one's been in development for for a while now, and and, and, yeah. I, and that's the one thing I like about Bethesda is like when they're ready to show the game like properly, it'll come out like that. It'll year. come out that year, so. They did that uh, with like Dishonored two, Fallout four. Yep, yeah. uh, I think Doom, Doom twenty sixteen mm. was mm-hmm. like that. Um, so yeah, I think uh, we'll get something like that. I'm excited to point. see what that looks like. Like, I don't. Do you think it's gonna be like a first person? Oh like, yeah, I think so. I think so okay. for sure. Mm. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, cool. I really don't know what to expect. Whether like it'll be like an Outer Worlds type game or not but yeah yeah i don't know um yeah I, I, i'm like you i have no idea what to expect but it's mm-hmm. bethesda so you're just you have to be excited for it um yeah i would like be cool to actually like fly around maybe and like spaceships because i don't think outer worlds you did that right i mean you definitely went through a spaceship but you traveled across planets right yeah, I don't. I think I got to that point and I stopped. Me too. So, um, yeah, maybe it'll be like a uh, not not like a No Man's Sky, but kind of have that level of spacecraft traversal because that one yeah. does it really well. With yeah, flying into a planet like it's kind of seamless. But yeah, I mean, if it's like that, that'd be pretty cool. Pretty cool. Sweet. All right. Well, anything else you want to talk about before we wrap up the show? I don't think so. Cool. I don't think so. All right. Yeah. Well, that's that is going to uh, that is going to do the show this week. Um, we'll probably definitely talk about some more Monster Hunter next week as you continue playing on, mm-hmm. and uh, talk about some Outriders next week. Uh, probably talk about talk about more It Takes Two once I once I get to dive into it. Yep. And uh, yeah. So look look forward to that. What were you gonna say? Is there anything else coming out next week? That um, just Outriders, right? Yeah, Outriders really is the first. Is there anything coming out on the second? I don't think there's anything that I'm 
that I've seen. But but once we hit April, that's that's the one year anniversary of Final Fantasy VII coming out. So that that exclusivity deal could come to an end. So we might. We what might what see what's the, what's the uh, what's the date for Final Fantasy? Yeah, what what was that? When did it come out last year? It was April. It might have been like April twenty third. Okay, April twenty third. Uh, okay. Oh, no, sorry, April 10th. April 10th, okay. Yeah. So I don't know oh, what's going to happen there. but Did you see uh, Back for Blood did get um, delayed? Until, I think until October, August. Right? Yeah, October, October, yep. I mean, it's a, that's Which, a good time for it because... Yeah, know, Halloween. Season. Yeah, so, I mean, uh, obviously, uh, delays are good for any kind of game, so... <sighs> yeah, I was looking forward to playing that game in the summer, though. Yeah, that, yeah, that was kind of the perfect time because like there's not usually a lot of games that come out in the summer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what so. do we have in the summer now? Says so Mario Golf and Zelda Skyward Sword. <laughs> Stupid. Got a pre-order, baby. <laughs> uh, are you really, are you gonna play through the whole thing? Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Mm, probably. Yeah. I think so. I think I will too. I probably, I mean, I'm a freaking sucker. Yeah, I mean, I want to play through mm, it. I don't know that. Alexa, what are you talking about? No one's talking to you, Alexa. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still kind of curious when we're gonna get a proper Zelda 35th direct. I, I just, I have no idea at this point. Well, oh shoot, we didn't even talk about uh, Mario's uh, public execution. Oh yeah, it's March tomorrow. Day. Tomorrow, tomorrow's the last day. If you if you haven't picked it up, wait. Tomorrow's the 29th, man. Oh shit! Yeah, you're right. Whoops. Well, you've got until uh until Wednesday, I guess. Until Wednesday. So, yep. Still. Yeah. So weird. Still very weird. That and Fire Emblem. It's going away. That uh Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon. That, oh yeah, I forgot about that. What a weird. Why? Why? Yeah, I I really Why? hope that this doesn't set a precedent for other kind of stuff if, if they do like a zelda collection it just doesn't make a lot of sense to me yeah and, and i don't know it's just <sighs> it's just very weird they did say that like so i know codes sold through the 31st you can still redeem them after hmm, um okay. the 31st which is which is cool i don't know about the game itself though I, i'm assuming that if they have like if retailers have copies they can still sell them. They could still sell them after the thirty first, because then they're that was just not going to be... ship them anymore. Yeah. So I guess technically, I'm assuming again, assuming that you can buy it at, te- at technically after the thirty first, because I don't know. Anytime you ever go to Best Buy or Target or whatever, they have tons of copies. So like, mm-hmm. this thing is it's not like it's limited. There's a limited amount made. It's just a like a, like a just a limited time frame that you can buy it. So it's it's weird. Is and you, and you like, can also like you can, if if you delete Mario from your from your Switch, you can still re-download it as well. Yeah. Um, after that, so don't don't worry about that. But it's just weird. Is is it going to be like the opposite of breaking a release date embargo, where if you sell the game after the thirty first, like the store gets fined or something? Yeah, I don't know. It'd be funny. I'm I'm assuming that if they have the copies, they can just sell it. So. Yeah. I'm sure people will go out there and check and and test it to see if they can. Oh yeah. So, oh. but yeah, any um anything you're excited? I mean, Resident Evil is kind of like the next big thing, right, to come out. Um, um I'm excited for Pokemon Snap. Oh yeah, Pokemon or at least Snap. just to see some more on that one. I, I'm not 100 percent sold on picking it up yet, but I'll probably see how it how it reviews. The reviews. And see what people are saying about it and. I don't know. Like if it if it has some replayability and it has a little bit of a length to it, I mean, it doesn't need to be like a freaking thirty hour game. But yeah, if it's, if it's longer than Pokemon Snap on the Nintendo sixty four, then that's a good thing. <laughs> like yeah, because like you could. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was like an hour. But um, yeah, so Pokemon, Pokemon Snap. Well, definitely, definitely Outriders. I'm super looking forward to that. Mm. Um, uh, I'll, I'll probably go back sometime this week. And just check out the other classes 
for that. Um, yeah. Pokemon Snap, I'm curious about. I'm not. I'm, I'm like you. I'm not 100% convinced yet. I just want to make sure there's like some meat to the game, um, you know, to, to justify paying 60 bucks for it. Um, and then obviously, good old Resident Evil, uh, Resident Evil 8. Cannot wait for that. And uh, yeah. yeah, I mean that's kind of that's kind of it. Unless you know, unless like some indie stuff sneaks in, um, that is just not on my radar right now. Let but me ask you this. Yeah. How many how many times do you think you're gonna play through Resident Evil Eight? If you were to guesstimate right now, I probably if it's if it's not ridiculous, I'll probably try to hundred percent it. Um, I mm-hmm. mean, I did that with. Uh, I mean, I probably played through three seven times. Just because I mean, you could beat it like after you got it, you could beat it in like it's an hour and a half. Yeah, it's crazy. It's and crazy, then sa- same with seven. I think once you got like the the big weapons um, and the walking shoes. Yeah, the the yeah the the, the, the running shoes. shoes, and you got like the uh, the saw blade or whatever. Mm-hmm. I mean, you could just. I mean, you, I I, could, I think I beat that game in under under four hours. I got. I mean, I got the achievement. So uh, yeah, that's why I love Resident Evil. It's just got so much replayability and it's so much fun. <laughs> Best, to go through man. like i i never want to i never really want to replay games except for resident evil yeah that's why i never get it i mean it sounds like this is going to be pretty long or longer mm-hmm. than than seven was um i think i beat the first i think i beat the first i think i beat seven it was definitely under eight hours for the for the first, the first time, time. Through. Yeah. yeah uh and i heard that, and this one seems like it's going to be more in line with like the length of resident evil f- uh four which, which was, was like, like what 15, 15 hours yeah, yeah something like that so i'm definitely okay with that um i definitely would like to have like maybe a little bit of a meteor resident evil than what we were used to in the, the past couple of games i want um, a sweet spot i want like 10 hours first yeah. time and then maybe five yeah second time yeah i'm, I'm, I'm just I, I look forward to like unlocking cool stuff cause that's like yeah, the best man. part about those games it's just unlocking those cool guns at the very end it just just that I final page at the end where you're like you're going like this 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 and this yep oh my yep. god i have to restart right now and yeah. use all these exactly so um <sighs> yeah super looking forward to to four or to sorry to eight and to what that's mm-hmm. got to offer but um i'll probably play it five or six times <laughs> to answer your question <laughs> i hope it's good i really I, i'm sure it's gonna be but yeah <sighs> i wonder i wonder if the achievements have been released yet for it i'll have to, I'll have to check because sometimes you can get mm-hmm. like a good sense of uh and that's why i like about resident as well it's like they don't have like crazy hard achievements or something like don't die at all or something so yeah uh, yeah those are the worst and for some reason they always they're always synonymous with platformers yeah that's why like i i didn't want to complete ori either one because like they have a no die um i'm like come on man that's ridiculous no one has time for that yeah except for the people so, who do but yeah uh, i'm sure some people have gotten it so yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Just always looking forward to stuff coming to Game Pass. That's just the best. It's just such a good feeling. Just yeah, man. Save money is is yeah, crazy. yeah. <laughs> such a good feeling. Such a good I, feeling. I wish Resident Evil Eight was coming to Game Pass. Yeah. Well, technically, we don't have to spend we don't have to spend thirty bucks for it to begin to pull the split. We, that's so, also man. Yeah, we're just it's, like it's, <laughs> spending and saving money left and right. Spooku savings. Spooku <laughs> savings, my guy. All right, so yeah, that is going to uh, wrap up the show. Let us know what you guys are looking forward to. Uh, that's coming yeah. out here in the uh, the next couple of months. Where, where can they uh, where can they tweet us that to? They tweet can tweet us, us at <laughs> to. They can tweet us at to gaming wt bros or at gaming wt bros on Twitter, yep. or you can email us at gaming with the bros at yahoo.com. Yeah, exactly. And uh, if you guys ever want to uh, listen to the show live with us um and 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 send us questions uh via chat um you can follow us at uh twitch.tv slash gaming with the bros cast and uh yeah we're live uh every every sunday um usually every sunday sometimes we we switch it to mondays just depends Mm -hmm. but yeah either sunday or monday we will definitely be live uh by 8 30 so uh, we'll we'll always come and hang out on twitter yeah yeah i'm going live yeah so okay so come hang out and uh I don't know. We, we might we might do a. Uh, I'm thinking about doing some sort of giveaway, too, soon. So we'll uh we'll, we'll figure something like that out. But but yeah yeah we'll do a giveaway. 
Exactly. But um, that's going to wrap it up, and we will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.